welcome back to the channel this is part four of restoring the duda bug mini bike so i got the axles almost knocked out already we're gonna start sanding this thing down today and painting it i got the calcinus off both sides i gotta get these stickers off took a little razor blade heated it up with the torch just got in behind the sticker it's a little bit of a little bit of heat and the knife it should come right off it's cooled off a little bit since then, but it's coming off pretty good. The heat gets the glue nice and hot, like a, almost more liquidy. This is coming off pretty good. Here we go. There's one sticker. So this bike used to be a pretty good color. See how fade away it is. Oh, matter of fact, I got my paint right here. Rust-Oleum Gloss Purple. Bonds to plastic, wood, metal, and more. I got three cans of purple. I got a can of black. And I got 120, 180 sandpaper. Scuff that up. I think I'm going to leave the bars on because I'm going to paint the whole thing purple. I'm going to take the kickstand off, take the pegs off, leave the bars on, taking the wheels off. I'm going to paint this whole thing purple. And I have a small can of gloss that I'm going to hopefully cover the rest of it. On the way today to bring me my chain, clutch, my chain guard, and my new, my new grips. I don't know if we'll get to the grips today because they'll probably be wet still, the handlebars. But if maybe we can get the motor mocked up, I had to get a new tensioner. Maybe get the motor mocked up, get the chain where it roughly needs to be. And we'll slowly get to, get to view what this thing looks like if the paint dries fast enough. It is pretty cold out here today. So I'm not sure how good the paint is gonna do. I've got a little torch, I'm gonna heat this whole bike up. Not this torch, I have that torch. I'm gonna heat the whole bike up, get the paint nice and hot, so hopefully this paint Get the old paint nice and hot, get the frame hot, so hopefully the new paint sticks to the frame pretty good. So let me get these stickers off real quick. I'm going to start sanding, and we'll start painting. Okay, there you have it. A completely stripped down, besides the handlebars, mini bike frame. Got the front wheel sitting up here. Got the cast nut, cotter pin all back in it. Rear wheel sitting up here. Got the peg sitting up here. Kickstand is sitting back here. We're gonna sand this thing down now with, we'll probably start with 180, which is I believe is this, yep. 180, see what that does. Then hopefully we can start painting this thing soon. sand it down frame one sanded frame I'm gonna put some cardboard now this paint is uh, paint and primer so I'm just gonna spray it not gonna do too much uh, priming just gonna kind of spray it and see how it goes Uh, 
Not a bad color if you ask me. Can do a light coat for now. Go over it again later. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to get this bolt or not, but it looks like I am. <laughs> That's going to come out looking sweet. Let me set this up. Start painting this thing for real. Here we have it, the first coat. I didn't get the bottom side yet. I'm gonna wait for this first coat to dry. Got some more back here that I'm missing. I'm gonna do this the top side first. Wait for it to dry a little bit. And then uh, flip it over, do the bottom side, get the bottom of the chassis frame, do all that fun stuff. But, this color, this is a pretty nice color. I'm glad I went with this color. I like this color so much. All right, take a break, let this thing drive a little bit, flip it over, do another coat. It's getting somewhere now. Got the underside. So what I did here, it was running. And instead of getting my rag into it and getting fuzz everywhere, you just spray it heavy and make the run go all the way down so it gets it nice and smooth again. So this is where the, it dropped off, but it, it looks smooth again. It doesn't have any signs of running. I said hopefully my parts come in here, but if not, I can at least start, put the wheels back on it, put the seat back on it, get the motor mounted up, or at least get it mocked up. Not necessarily mounted, but this purple definitely is going to look great. Especially with my red one. I got a red one on the other doodle bug. A little spot right here. There we go. Good color. Maybe clear it, see what it looks, give a little bit more of a shine. But this bike is, this project has got me excited now. Get a new engine in there, new chain, everything new, shiny. It'll look just like my red one. I'll have two pretty nice somewhat restored mini bikes back inside because it was starting to rain uh, rain droplets everywhere so I'm letting it dry off inside I ended up painting the kickstand black and put the spring on it yet because I don't want to mess with the paint too much yet I got the one the one peg on starting to get the second peg on uh, after that, we'll probably put the wheels back on. I think I'm going to leave the wheel spacers, the aluminum. I'm not going to worry about painting them, I don't think. I'm just going to leave them. For now, we'll see if I don't like it. If I can do whatever. We'll at least get this thing rolling again. Uh, put the wheels back on it. Maybe put the seat back on it. Engine still sitting over here. I don't know if FedEx is going to show up today. They're supposed to. Uh, it's not looking like it. Maybe we'll mock this thing up still. See what it looks like. I can't really align it yet because I don't have the chain. I have to order a chain tensioner. So as much as I want this bike to be done sometime this week, unfortunately it's not looking like it. I gotta get a tensioner. But I'm gonna finish putting this other peg on, put it back up on the bench, put the wheels on it, maybe put the seat on it, we'll see. And maybe put the engine in it, just see what it's gonna look like. Okay guys, well I put the wheels back on, pegs, kickstand, seat, the seat's not mounted. Um, I'm gonna have to take it back off to run the brake lines and all that stuff when they get here. I don't know if FedEx is showing up today. If they don't, this video will probably be up 
Um, not that you'll know or not, but it's looking pretty good. Now, let me get a little opinion. Should I paint these wheels black? I have black gloss paint, um, the same color as I did for the kickstand. The kickstand come out pretty good. I have black paint for the wheels. Should I do the front and rear wheels, the black? Now, it's come out pretty good so far. I'm not gonna be able to finish it today. I kinda wish I was gonna be able to. Waiting on FedEx, Christmas time is busy. But, a little bit of rust, so I'm gonna have to clean that up when it dries. This is it, it's painted. Step four. Next step is hopefully I'm gonna go order a tensioner, get a tensioner for it, I know I need one of those. After that, everything else should be ready. Can't wait to ride this thing, it's almost there. Looking better and better. This purple really pops, I really like this purple. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think about the black wheels. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you on the next one, part five. Maybe get the engine installed next time.